Hello again, this is TJ from RVs of America, and in this video I'm going to show you the 2012 Tracer Ultralight Bumper Pull Trailer by Primetime Manufacturing. I believe Primetime Manufacturing, that's probably a division of Forest River. This is a ultralight bumper pull trailer. It's gross weight, which is as heavy as it should ever be, uh, weighs in at just about 7,600 pounds. And the dry weight, which is the weight of just the unit, unloaded without water tanks full, comes just under 5,000 pounds. Uh, so as you see, it's a really nice weight. Could easily be pulled by a good sized SUV. And uh, you don't need to have a really big truck to be able to lug it around. This is what I would call a perfect summertime weekend warrior, taking the family up into the mountains. Uh, gonna show you some of the features on the outside here before we go inside to show you those. We got some nice diamond plating up here along the front. Uh, protects the unit from rocks, gravel, dirt, whatever kind of gets flipped up by the wheels of the vehicle that's towing it. We've got our propane tanks, tanks and the, uh, this here leveling jack. Automatic, like a lot of these newer bumper poles have. Makes it nice and convenient. You can lower it down onto the ball of your truck automatically and then lift it up from the ground from the front to level it once you find camp automatically. I'm sorry about the brief interruption, folks. Shane wanted to just tell me something real quick. I wanted to show you this outside compartment because included with the trailer is a brand new barbecuer, little barbecue grill. And you're gonna find that this one comes in handy alongside this outdoor kitchenette. Yes, folks, this unit comes equipped with an outdoor kitchenette. That is personally one of my favorite little features that they throw onto these things because I love the idea of being able to cook outside. Uh, the barbecuer will be able to fit on this little thing. This platform swings out around <coughs> and it flattens. And I would flatten it for you, but I don't want to jostle the camera too much. Uh, the outdoor kitchenette opens from this door. Kind of almost semi automatically with that little hydraulic arm, right? And included in it is a little mini refrigerator. We've got our sink right there. Uh, there's a little mini refrigerator open, kind of like one of those little hotel sizes. Close that there. And of course, the other grill. Uh, folds out on this little platform. Let me open it here. There it is. So you can cook pancakes, eggs, brats, Whatever suits your fancy. I'm personally a big fan of eggs. Eggs in the morning when I'm camping. <clears throat> uh, just one other thing I'll show you here along the back. We just barely got a little bit of rain, so that's why it's kind of coming out. I'll give you some wider views. Here's your power right there. Got it plugged in right now. And inside this compartment here, we have uh, your water stuff. So the outside shower, um, as well as your tank fill valves and fresh and city water connections. Well, now that I've shown you some of the stuff on the outside, let's go take a look at this bad boy on the inside. All right, and here we are inside. We got in not a moment too soon because the rain has just started to fall outside. Luckily for us, we're inside this incredibly attractive trailer. So in the dining area, we have just a traditional booth set up, but it's kind of one of those wide wraparound booths. Converts to sleeping, of course. Here we have the kitchen sink with the countertop. Kind of a overview of the whole kitchen. Dometic fridge. Oven and range. Microwave oven. Some cabinets up along the top. Cabinets in this trailer. Uh, as I've usually been pretty impressed with stuff that's Forest River. Really solid construction and pretty attractive in looks. Uh, 
flat screen television with one of those fancy Jensen RV 3-in-1 combos, DVD, radio, and CD. And those are uh, those combos are actually intended to work off of the 12 volts in your in your uh, coach battery. Moving on here into the bedroom area, we got a queen size bed in here with some cabinets and closets up ahead. At the head, um, mirror panel, yeah, mirror panel on the other side of where the TV sits. I would say that this unit would pretty comfortably sleep three and four if you got two kids. Moving into the bathroom here. We've got a walk-in shower. Everything in this trailer very clean, very nice looking. It is only two years old after all and one owner. There's a toilet, sink, more cabinet space in here. Nice deep. Yes, folks, this is a really nice trailer. <clears throat> Small but comfortable and would definitely make real comfortable sleeping arrangements up in the wilderness for a couple with maybe one or two kids or just a couple by themselves. We hope that you guys find some time to come and take a visit in person and see it for yourselves. Um, there we got one air conditioning unit in the center and some cold air returns interspersed throughout the ceiling. Of course if I have forgotten anything then be sure to check out the description that we have on the website or on the uh, online listing where you found this and don't be afraid to come in in person once again this is the 2012 tracer by Forest River ultra light bumper pull trailer uh, my name is TJ this is RVs of America we're located in American Fork Utah at 970 East State Street and you can reach us by phone at 801 uh, 860 -0035. I'll see if I can go ahead and add some text there on the video so that you can see it. Come stop by, give us a visit. We want your business for life. We'll treat you right. We'll guarantee that everything in this unit is working uh, when you come pick it up, when you come to buy it. And we will uh, we'll do whatever we can to make sure that your experience buying from us is exactly the way that you want it to be. Uh, once again, this is TJ from RVs of America signing out, and thank you for watching this video. Till next time.